gentlemen are saying here tonight is not incorrect. It's very correct. Right now, they've had to close 200 beds. We think it's affected our crime fighting here in uh, Canton. If they close another 200 beds, it will have dire consequences for the citizens in this city. Back in the latter part of August, I sent to this council a letter and a list provided through the clerk of courts of reoffenders that have gotten out because of limited jail space in our county jail and reoffended once they got out. That list has been updated in September, and it's shocking when you look at this list to find the Canton residents that should be locked up in the county jail that were released because of not enough bedding or bed space to hold them, and they come back onto our streets and reoffend. And when they say that it's going to be worse, when they say that they have to cut the beds, when they say that the booking is going to be a problem for us, they are not kidding. And it will affect the Canton community, our community, more than any other community in Stark County. And if you look at the reoffender list, it bears that out. It is very shocking. And for that reason, I stand with these gentlemen in support of that sales tax to take place in November. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. President. Um, I, uh, I just want to echo some of the, uh, the, the statistics and information that uh, Commissioner Burnaby brought in uh, as the county is dealing with uh, their end of this recession and the impact it's had on them, and uh, then you pile on with the, the sales tax expiring and then trying to figure out whether we should add it back on again. You know, the city of Kent has gone through the same type of evolution through this recession. We had a, a high of a $58 million general fund budget and a low of $48 million. And we had to go through the same decision-making factors of how we uh, manage through that. And again, 70% of every dollar we spend goes to safety. Uh, so if you're cutting $10 million, that tells you that a big chunk of that is going to have to come from safety. And we've seen that in reference to the uh, reduction in our police forces and our, our fire departments. And, uh, and, and the only option that you have to make the cuts to live within your means is to go to the public and say we need more tax dollars. Uh, the city of Canton has not done that at this point in time. But uh, I want to share with you just how other levels of government impacts the city of Canton. Uh, the federal government uh, this past year uh, made cuts to HUD funding nationwide by 16%. The city of Kansas, 16 percent cut. I think it was about six or seven hundred thousand dollars that we lost in our development department uh, through across the board reductions from the federal government. The state of Ohio has cut the local government fund by 50 percent, 50 percent, and they staged in uh, this year and next year, and we're seeing a six six million dollar, seven million dollar reduction between the cuts that were taken from the state alone, on top of the federal. And now, if you pile on the counties. Of difficulty and say to us, well, hey, you're going to lose another $400,000 just from your tax revenue from our layoffs. Oh, by the way, you're going to have to put a whole lot more resources in your, in your jail space to, to make it a functioning jail because we're not going to be able to do bookings. And let's pile on, on top of that, the safety issue, which says criminals who get arrested and then released the next day have no fear of committing that next crime. And uh, the document that uh, Tom Reed was referring to, I've got a copy of it here, and it shows hundreds, hundreds of criminals who were re-arrested shortly after they were released early from their first jail sentence. And they don't, I mean, some of them were right back at the same location doing the exact same crime. It's unbelievable. So I, I just want to uh, share with you that we understand, uh, and, and I, I really appreciate the commissioner and, and, and the committee guys uh, that come down uh, to share the details with us uh, we wanted to hear a little bit more of the details from your end, um, and uh, I really appreciate you coming out and doing that. The, um, uh, uh, Commissioner Burnaby, uh, this, is, this is a personal conversation to you, uh, so everybody else just uh, pull off a second. Um, we had a conversation when you were at City Hall, and uh, in that conversation I said to you, you know, uh, Tom, you and I agree on about 98% of all the issues that we've come across. And you responded to me that, yes, and the other 2% I'm wrong. Remember that conversation? <laughs> 
Well, I will tell you that uh, I do agree with you on this one as well. And I am not only going to vote for this levy, but I'm also tonight endorsing the levy uh, and doing, uh, let me know what I can do to help you pass it because the city needs this, the county needs this, and quite frankly, uh, we have worked too hard to move us in the positive direction. That's what I